Hey YouTube, this is Matt here. Now, it's been a little while since I've released a video on my comic book YouTube channel. But, guys, don't despair. I have been very busy with some of my other hobbies, and one of my favorite hobbies is exploring the world and going on long hikes. This video, and I've done one other video on a hike of mine, was at the Grand Canyon, but what makes this video so special was I got to go with two of my favorite people in the world, my son Spencer and a family friend Trevor. And guys, this is going to be a long video, but I absolutely hope that you enjoy this. 5,000 square If you think you have the fittest and exclusive to attempt it, extremely challenging to play, please seek a bus from the park ranger. All right, guys. Now that you're going to do this, Serious. Oh, check out that shirt. <laughs> there goes your game out. Yeah, sure. All right. Be honest with yourselves. What do you guys think about this? I think I can do it. You looking forward to the challenge? Oh, yeah. yeah that's easy. I'll get it done in like an hour. You've been getting trying to get ready for this for two years. <laughs> yeah, I'll be done in an hour. I'll probably run up the last mile. Yeah, you got to say that now. <laughs> we'll see what happens with all that bravado. All right, guys. Honestly, I don't want to go down any deeper today. Let's just uh, go up, get something to eat, uh, get ready for tomorrow's hike, and uh, call it a night. Uh -huh. You guys agree? Yep. Yep. All right. <laughs> I know. So now that you have a different view, what are you guys thinking? It's going to be worse than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be better than that. Do you notice I'm like giggling? Because I know what you're gonna have, end up having a good time. Oh, yeah, I think it'll be fun. There's Plateau Point all the way down there. And let's see, can I see Indian Garden from here? Yeah, you can see Indian Garden down there. Where? Uh, see where the see where the trail is and see where there's like thicker trees. Mm -hmm. Those are cottonwoods. And so that's uh, it's Havasu Gardens now. It used to be called Indian Garden. But that's a nice rest stop. That's 4.6 miles from the trailhead. What is, what's that right there? It's, it's just trail. Yeah. yeah, how far is that from this hole? From here? I, I don't know how far those people are. There's uh, Havasu Gardens is 4.6 miles from the rim. Uh, the three mile house, which we cannot see from here, is three miles from the rim, and the 1.5 mile house. Take a while, guess how far that is. What did you say? The 1.5 mile house. Yeah. But, and then if you can see the canyon that way on the other side of the river, which you can't really tell where the river is, that's going to be where uh, Phantom Ranch is. So we'll be down in that little gully. That's where the North Kabob Trail is. That's insane, dude. <laughs> yeah, you'll be you'll be having a good time with it, guys. Hey, Spencer, you ready? Yep. And Trevor, you ready, ready for a big hike? I'm ready. You have a little bit of nervousness? Yeah. Really? Yes. Why are you nervous? A lot of walking. It's a lot of walking. <laughs> I don't know, buddy. I think you're ready for it. Ready. Are you nervous? No. No? No, I'm not in slice. Are you terrified? No. <laughs> Maybe you just don't know what you're getting into. No, I know. That's silky. I'm not seeing the man. Hey, turn your headlamp away from oh. the camera. Yeah, I'm looking at people coming down the chimney. How you doing, Spencer? How you doing, Trevor? Doing We're great. great. We're good. <laughs> We're no. starting out. We're still at the South Kaibab Trail. Honestly, not far from the trail head. You can see people and their lights coming down. You can see lights the whole way down there. <laughs> and the first bus of tonight was, uh, what, 10 minutes ago? Yeah. They're, well, there are people that will hike out here on their own without taking a bus. Now, it's hard to see through the camera here. But you're starting to, with the eyeball, you're starting to be able to see some of the features now. So I'm actually getting ready to shut up my light off here. Probably about five minutes. But... It's I don't know, cold. guys. Is it cold? Oh, yeah, it's oh, cold. Yeah. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> we'll pr we'll, we will warm up here before you know it.
Light work. Light work. <laughs> what flex are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> Why are you sorry? I don't want to embarrass you. <laughs> Windy Ridge. It's such a cool little spot in this hike. It's not really that long. It's just, I don't know. Very picturesque, if you will. The sun's getting ready to come up. You can see it reflecting off the clouds. They don't know me, son. They don't know me, son. All right, Let's go carry the boat. All right, David Goggins, you go. All right, gentlemen, what's your thoughts right now? My legs are tired already. I'm going to die down here, but it's okay. You know you're on video, right? I feel great. Yeah. Hey, Spencer, show us what you found, what you think's kind of cool. Just for a reference, how tall are you? Uh, like seven foot. <laughs> six, six two. Okay, six foot two. And so, yeah, these are out here. They're kind of neat. I'm not sure what kind of plant that is. And if anyone knows, you know, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. Let us know exactly what this is. But it's kind of cool. There's also some other cool plants here. Yeah, like the cactus one that stepped in. Yeah, show, us, show me the cactus. Where is it at? Oh, check that out. Actually, I don't even know if that's good. Yeah, that looks like Oh, that's a former cactus. Yeah. Do I know what it is? Yeah, here's some more right there. And here's another cool plant. And honestly, I don't know anything about plants, but I definitely think that flowers in the middle of the canyon slash desert landscape is kind of cool. But So we're not quite halfway in, guys. What are you thinking? Ah, uh, it's easy. It's all right. I think I'll definitely feel it tomorrow. You think you'll feel it tomorrow? Yeah. I think that that is an absolute certainty. I think we will all oh, feel yeah, this we're tomorrow. Be this. <laughs> but you know what? It'll be worth it. I really feel strongly about that. The edge. I can't put my phone in my pocket. Oh, you just see the water. Yep. This is the first place you can see the Colorado River along our journey. Man, that'd be cool to live down there. That's cool. Actually, you see those trails down there at the bottom? That's Phantom Ridge. Or, oh my gosh. Uh, Phantom Ranch. We'll go up in there? Yeah, we'll be up there. Spence, can you see the water from there where you're at or no? Yeah. I don't think you can. Come over here. I, I can. Okay. No, I can see. I'm over here too. Yeah. Wait, which way are they? I don't know. Wherever they want. <laughs> like a movie it's yeah almost, it's unreal like just, what is that over there is that just a rock like right in the middle like do you see that plateau that's in the middle yeah that's that's cool imagine building a house down here i don't want to have to walk to my house every day it'll be no. worth it no, it wouldn't. 
<laughs> it would be worth it. It'd be worth it. The grocery runs. <laughs> they will be insane. The gains will be The insane. grocery runs. <laughs> yeah. I would not want to build a house down here. No, but it's beautiful though. There's a tiny person down there. I'm sure it's a normal sized person. No. They're just tiny from where we are. No, I don't think so. No, they're tiny. They're this they're yeah, they're, they're that tall. Somewhere down there. Yeah, just a tiny person. I think I could jump and make it. This right here is nice. We just came down a series of switchbacks that it felt like every other step was a a big 18 inch step down this even though it's going downhill you can stretch your legs out on a little bit better has a better feel grand canyon is definitely a physical endurance test you know hiking the hike we are but you know it's a man drill. you can take breaks whenever you want let, let your uh, muscles relax always bring water and you do things like that it's manageable the park rangers definitely definitely do not suggest doing a one day down and back hike it's too much uh, there's so many things that can go wrong to do that but spraining your ankle, spraining your ankle could be one that hasn't happened yet has it no, not no. yet. Nope. But if you prepare and, you're, and you do it properly, it can be done. It's just, like I said, they do not advise it. It's better to go down, camp out at Phantom Ranch or uh, the Bright Angel Campground or even uh, have a Sioux Gardens and then make your way up the next day. That's much preferable. But, like I said, it can still be done. Well, well, we're at the we're at the tip off, ready to drop down in. Definitely needed that break. Yeah, it's nice to take breaks. You like you need to let your muscles relax and. Yeah, we had a nice drink. Had some good food. Let's get to the bottom. There's a nuclear bunker right there. Hmm. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. Absolutely amazing. Halfway down this year. Hey, I can do videoing. <laughs> I can, I can. Keep edit it that in, out. keep it in. I was videoing. Right here it looks too. And that is what they call the red wall. Why? Now, there's actually this, honestly, guys, honestly, gosh, the guy's like a really cool YouTuber. And he's done a lot of videos on hikes in here. And he has a distinctive way he says red wall. And I just get a kick out of it. I wonder why it's called the red wall. Couldn't guess. Yeah. It's definitely red, though. Red wall limestone is what it's called. <laughs> That'd be a great slip and slide. Next tough mother should be held here. Let's hear it. They don't know me, son! Do it again. They don't know me, son. <laughs> Three, two, one. They don't know me, son! 
And it's straight up David Goggins. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Who's gonna carry the boats? Right, we can see the Black Bridge. Really cool bridge. I've talked about it before. Built 1928, and every bit of that bridge had to be brought down here either by mule or uh, there was Havasu Indians that helped bring stuff down. But yeah, so this was a serious monumental project. I can only imagine having to carry every ounce of that bridge down these trails. <laughs> of course you could have water fountains out here too. Yeah. <laughs> but now I was just talking about every ounce of that bridge had to come down, you know, by hand carrying or by mule. You probably just threw it. <laughs> just threw it down like we'll get it when we get down there. That's what I would do. It's not a bad move. We're almost down to the river and it looks like there's some boaters down there having some fun honestly we can hear them cheering they were like echoing in the canyon spencer and trevor down pretty far below me they're gonna be mad at me i'm holding them up we're about ready to go in you can't see the tunnel uh from this angle but it goes in there and we're about ready to go across the black bridge and then over that way to the canyon and then up to Phantom Ranch. Hey, wait up. Wait up. What's that? Me? Am I ready yet? I like it when the river is nice and green. Hey, Sometimes it's really brown. It's nothing but up from here. <laughs> See the silver bridge? Do we walk that? Yeah. I was, there used to only be one way down and up. And uh, oh. this bridge was it. And in 1968, they built that bridge. And so you got a different, you know, different route. That's probably for the best. Yeah, I don't know why I want to swim in this river so bad. Right. I know I'm hot. You have two places to do it. You can do it down there. Like and when I say swim, I mean wade out into anyone it. Anyone can go? Yeah. <gasps> and there's also another place that we can go. It's a... Uh, I don't know what is it, River Rest House, I think it's called. I forget, but. If you want to go swimming, I suggest. Here we are. We're chilling out at the famous Phantom Ranch Amphitheater. Honestly, the three of us are pretty beat. It got pretty hot out there. Um, and we're just beginning the hard part of the hike. We just got down, and honestly, it was a relatively pleasant hike. I mean, going down, you definitely filled in your quadriceps. Would you agree with that, Trevor? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't realize right here. Trevor? Perfect time to run out of water. Did you run out of water? I just ran out of water. <laughs> well, we're honestly, we're just a few hundred steps away from uh, the cantina. Okay. But Trevor right here, a lot of people don't know. Well, why would you? It's the first time he's ever been on channel, but he's a pretty impressive dude, okay? Whenever he was born, his legs weren't quite right, although the rest of them is, and he's gone through 12 separate surgeries. Actually, is it 12 or is it? It's close enough to 12, yeah. <laughs> it's been a bunch, okay? He's been in a wheelchair at different times in his life, um, but nothing stops this guy down, okay? Nothing, okay? In fact, he's a Pennsylvania, he has a Pennsylvania state record for bench press at his 
uh, weight class. And it's it's obvious, it's not obvious, but it's a clean record, okay? So he's not juicing or anything like that. All his works are gained naturally. And, uh, that's what they think. That's <laughs> what they think, yeah, right? Um, but no, in all honesty, like, he's just absolutely an impressive guy. And the fact that he wanted to do this hike, you know, with 12 surgeries on his legs, you know, that just says the fortitude that he has. And honestly, he's kind of impressive, okay? So I just had to give a little shout out to him. And later on, I'll give a, a shout out to my other buddy over here because he's every bit as impressing. No, I won't say that. And he's humble. <laughs> Definitely weren't just throwing rocks. You know, we just uh, came from Phantom Ranch, and then uh, we're getting ready to go all the way up to there. And I got these two knuckleheads messing with each other. There you go. I gather right. The last time I came down here, I told you guys I was hurting. I messed up my knee pretty bad, and I was hobbling out with the hiking stick. So I say, just looking at the ground. Ended up getting on the wrong trail and made my way up to the Black Bridge before I even realized that I had gone the wrong way. Are we going the wrong way now, though? No, we're going the correct way. Honestly, all these trails lead down to, uh, we're down to the river. So it doesn't really truthfully matter which one we take. I might as well take this time to talk about my own son, who I'm super proud of. He's talking about Trevor. But, no, my own son, Spencer. He's like, I say, he impresses me every day. A super, super smart kid. Uh, you know, always puts forth his best effort. He's always... Hey, do you think we could just cut through the grass here? Ah, although I'm talking nice about him and he wants to cut through the grass. Um, but no, like he's always just doing his best, he's working hard. He's getting ready to go off into the Air Force. And I think he's going to have a pretty nice adventure ahead of him, you know, in life. Because he's always wanting to explore something, do something different, you know, be a little bit different. But even like whenever I'm working around the house, doing something, fixing something, getting out the saws and hammers or whatever I need to do. He's right there with me. I don't even have to ask him for help. He's just right there along with me. You know, and it's just, I don't know. Uh, I'm saying really nice things, but when you have a good kid, and a lot of you viewers will relate to this, you just know how lucky you are to, you know, be the parent of amazing human beings. So that's my nice little uh, tribute to my son, who, honestly, the only reason we're even on this trip he asked to be on this trip. And so here we are. Uh, a couple years ago, he got sick. And whenever both him and I were going to do it, and he couldn't do this. And I did it by myself. And my wife stayed in a hotel room. And I think he wanted a little redemption. Or I don't know what word to use, but I think he wanted to, you know, get this hike under his belt. Right now, this is a Bright Angel Stream, a run, or whatever it's called. They should bring an elevator to this bit. Did you say they should bring an elevator? Yeah. It's not a bad idea right now. Uh, we're getting ready to cross the Silver Bridge. Right here's a little mule corral that's down here. Honestly, it's kind of cool. You get to walk through it. Not through it, but walk right by it. They really take great care of these mules down here. They're truly the backbone of how the Grand Canyon operates. Yeah, I'm pretty much a mule. You're pretty much full of crap is what you are. Mule. Stubborn. And maybe that's what it is. You alright, Spence? Man, that river looks like it's moving hard fast today. 
Trevor, remember I told you that from above, that river looks really calm? Yeah. yeah, do you see what I'm talking about now? Yeah. Yeah, you would die. Anyone. You come trying to swim through that. Michael Phelps could do it. I don't think Michael Phelps would. Kind of looking forward to seeing the kids whenever the bridge starts swaying in the middle. This bridge is pretty sturdy, but still a suspension bridge. There is a little bit of give to it, and it's so unnerving when you're above that river and the bridge is going back and forth. And it's only going back and forth six inches either way, but it's definitely moving. You guys feel the bridge moving? <laughs> I said I was worried about what, or I was curious what they do when they start moving. Yeah, they're moving it on purpose. <laughs> no, not, no, not funny at all. Not even funny hee hee. Definitely not funny haha, -ha, but not even funny hee hee. Hey, do you remember that uh, trail that I said? That if we uh, took it and didn't go to the Phantom Ranch, that uh, we'd oh, end up right yeah. here? This is where we would have ended up. This yeah, is where the two trails cut. meet. Shortcut. Yeah, but then we went ahead at World Famous Lemonade. Mid. Mid. I don't know. I thought it was good. That yeah, was great. <laughs> it's so sour. It is called... <laughs> it's lemon. Lemon. Aid. No, they put sugar yeah. In oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, I need that vitamin C. You're mid. Let's just get that out of the way. I pulled it. Ow! Who's got the One of the absolute amazing things about being down here at Bottom of the Grand Canyon, you get to go back into the planet's history. This rock right here, they estimate it to be 1.8 billion years old. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not exactly sure how they figure that out, but I guarantee you there's a smart geologist that knows exactly how to determine it. But what an amazing thing. I mean, this is the world's oldest known exposed rock. So just another something to make this uh, hike very cool.
right, guys, taking a little break here. What's nice is we ended up bringing electric lights with us. So we fill them up in a shaker bottles. Yeah. <laughs> it does make a difference, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, you got to replenish that. Honestly, whenever you're on a hike like this, the three things you really want. You want water. sugar, fat, and salt. And water. Okay, that's absolutely needed. So, you know, it's always good to keep those replenished. But, and I just saw Spencer. He put garbage in his backpack. So, always got to remember, whatever you hike in here, you got to pack it out. Never leave any garbage down here in the canyon. Do you have to drink it? Do you have the jerky? Oh. Jerky, beef jerky. <laughs> Holy. Here we go. So, what do you think? You just made the devil's corkscrew. Is this bad as they say? Yeah. Yes? Probably worse. I don't know. I don't think they know you yet, son. No, they know me. Nope, they don't know you yet. Yeah, they know me. Stuff is beating me up. I don't know, buddy. Pretty proud of you. And we still keep going further. They know me, son. They don't know you yet. They know me. They do not. Okay. I ain't carrying the boots. The boots. That's why you come down in the Grand Canyon and you have waterfalls. Okay, because honestly, it really is a desert landscape. I mean, I'm not saying there aren't trees, right? Here's some cottonwoods. I guess the Park Service planted those back in the 1920s to provide shade for this part of the Grand Canyon. And they're still growing. Actually, I've heard that they uh, surround the base with a wire mesh to keep the beaver from eating them and knocking them down. But they do a good job, but I got my two warriors right here. They were David Goggins and up. Okay, so we're going to stop with the Goggins references, but they definitely were having fun. In fact, whenever we started, you know, they don't know me, son. It was the saying. Now it's, they definitely know me. But these guys, they don't know what's ahead of them, and it's the best part of the hike. It's the final assault. That last 4.6 miles is by far the most fun, entertaining, and enjoyable oh. trip up 3,000 yeah. feet of elevation. Yeah. In a short amount of time, it's going to be amazing. It's not going to be that short of amount of time. <laughs> We're going to make it, gents. Actually, this wind, as long as it's not blowing in dust in my eye, it feels great. Got a little dust storm coming up here. Yeah, you do. I don't know, gents. Keep, keep us solid. Don't know me, son. <laughs> You guys know that even though we don't say that a lot, every time I turn a video on, you guys say it. So whoever's watching this is going to be like, is that all they said the entire trip? <laughs> no, I complained a lot. Did you? Yeah. What's happening to you right now? Be honest. Uh, just had a blister on my toe. Left hip is killing me. So. Muscles are doing okay. It's That's why you had those 12 or more surgeries. Yep. So is your hip ever going to be perfect? No. No. I have like zero soft. Oh. I think people watching this are going to be impressed with you guys. Why not, you? Why not you? You're pushing us just like anyone else. Hikes like this, honestly, your body gives out on you. Your body's shot, it's done. It's just straight gut check. And we have about four miles to go and about 3,000 feet elevation. 
to make up. That's where it's just straight. That is, that is fucking... <laughs> that is crazy. How? We will make it one step at a time. <laughs> Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh. Still recording, but no. People will be very impressed with you, Spence, because it's just a mental gut check. And honestly, everyone, everyone who does this, I don't care how good a shape they're in or bad shape, it's one step at a time. Like, there's no... <laughs> oh, your hiking stick's getting worn through. Yeah. Is that the bad one? I don't know. Yeah, 100%. Oh, look at that flex. <laughs> look at that. But No, guys, just one step at a time and we'll make it. It's coming down, or the wind's blowing out hard. We're gonna turn left. I guess the hat's done. So I don't know if you can hear this, but it's been a crazy good hike. Honestly, hiking with those two kids made it so enjoyable for me. But I see them now. They're coming up a little bit behind me. But yeah, this wind is getting pretty intense. Think about this. You know, we're talking about being that's a part of it. But like, you just get to look and you get to see the great game is as tired as you are. Like, it doesn't even matter because you're in one of the most absolute stunning places on earth. And I know that my two buddies are coming up oh, right there they are. I speak and there they are. But now they've been making a great way up this. So I don't know if they need a little break. Okay, so we're gonna Oh, that's saying I got a lot of sand in my eyes. So, no, I was just saying, like, look at that view. Yeah. Yeah, doing amazing, guys. <laughs> Are you lying to the camera? No. no? Perfect condition. Yeah. Not sore, not actually, it's no. Your hips are sore, but like, we're actually making it up here. Caution. Down is optional. Up is mandatory. Honestly, this sign really should be heated. Um, this is a very strenuous hike. And if you are in trouble, you're tired, you're worn out, there's nobody here to help you. You've just got to keep stepping. So whenever I was talking earlier about the park rangers, they truly suggest people to go down, camp overnight, and then try to come out the next day. Well, that's good advice. All right, we're about two and a half miles away from the top. It's actually getting dark. We're gonna to have to finish this after dark, and that's okay. Um, or two and a half miles from the top. Did I say dark? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty tired. So two and a half miles from the top. And you, if you look down there, you can see Indian Garden. Way, it's hard to see my finger. Way over there. Yep. So, we're just taking a little break. Honestly, it's nice taking breaks because look where we're at. <laughs> it's just fun to look. <laughs> and even though it's two and a half miles, that's a lot. it's a lot of elevation. And that's all right. That's a, we knew this was a thing. One of the cool things 
a lot of people they try to finish before dark honestly that was our goal but it's all right so we'll be a little after dark but you also get to see this absolutely gorgeous sunset now you can't see the sunset from the canyon the sunset obviously is in the west but uh where we're looking you can see where the sun is hitting the apps the top of the other rim the north rim it's absolutely spectacular so that was where the video ended now guys we were not far from the rim in that last little clip and we ended up finishing it guys at the very beginning trevor said he's gonna run the last mile up well he didn't run the last mile up but honestly, Pete, he probably did run the last tenth of a mile up to the top. So, like, at the end, when he found out we were there, he's like, I, he was running. So, you know, kind of impressive. But, guys, um, this was a really fun trip. It was a fun family trip, fun family friend, you know, to go along with us. But I really want to say thanks to Spencer, and I want to say thanks to Trevor. Guys, you made this a really fun hike, a really good time, an awesome memory for me. And hopefully some of my viewers on here but guys i'm really excited to see what happens in spencer and trevor's life as they're both getting ready to graduate high school and go on with their lives work but guys i'm gonna be here to watch you and root for you both along the way so hey guys thanks again um i want to thank everybody for watching and you have a great day <laughs>